what is the explanation for what happens to people who just keep doing evil over and over again? They seemingly getting get away with it. What is the explanation for that? And what really happens to them? Do they really just get away with it? Or do they actually end up being judged? They end up learning the folly of their ways after it's too late. After they've done so much evil, their heart is so hardened that they'll never, they'll never be able to come out of the pit they dug themselves into. Uh, their denial, their pride, their hardened heart, the corrupt, corrupt people, corrupt politicians who run this world, who are leading to the next great calamity in America. It will be the greatest on earth, and it will be in America. But it'll be around the world, too. Um, what happens to all these people who helped build towards this, this evil future? Well, the answer is something that most people don't want to hear. Generally, unless they choose redemption, unless they choose salvation, unless they choose belief, and it's very simple, it's by simply believing, it's having faith in what Jesus did, not in anything that we do. Faith in that blood of Jesus and his death, burial, and resurrection. Romans 5, 8 through 11. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. King James Bible. It's nothing we do that saves us. We have to put our trust fully and our faith and our belief fully in the gospel of what Jesus did for us. That's why it says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. Therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. And it talks about how we are imputed his righteousness by faith. Um, it says in Romans chapter 4, um, uh, but being fully persuaded he believed that what God had promised he was also able to perform. Therefore it was imputed unto him for righteousness. And it says, uh, it was not imputed to righteousness for his sake only, but for ours also. That we might receive the righteousness of God also if we believe on him that raised up our Lord Jesus from the dead. And delivered us from so great a wrath. I'm paraphrasing that a little bit. Um, see, I need to bone up on my scriptures. Uh, but it really does say it says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. It says, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So it's not of ourselves. And we believe in what Jesus did for us, his shed blood. Romans 3.25 Romans 5-9 believe in the death burial and resurrection Romans chapter 6 Romans chapter 5 again 1 Corinthians 51 through 4 the gospel is one doctrine one specific thing that the Bible is teaching us to believe in and it's everything that Jesus did for us to save us that is how we are saved that is the ultimate truth but a lot of people won't believe this because they've been deceived by false science. And the evildoers have been pulling the strings in this world. Uh, the ones who are leading people astray. And who are basically the reason that they didn't choose the righteous path. And they have a hardened heart uh, because of it. 
they simply don't believe in God. So that they feel that any iniquity is just fair game. They can do whatever they need to get to wherever they want in life. And they seem to notice that they seem to be more successful the more they're willing to transgress upon another human being. And so they see this and they continue down this path thinking that there genuinely just is no God. Believing the lies of pseudoscience, of atheism, of the Big Bang model, of the heliocentric model, the globe Earth model. If they truly knew that we lived in a plane, you know, on a planar realm that is inescapable, they would come to the faith. They would realize that they do need to fear the Lord. And that this is the explanation to lack of progress in supposed outer space. Well, that whole idea is contingent upon rejecting the scriptures. But it is amazing. It's 2021 and no progress in space yet. Uh, it never truly will be. They'll be able to imitate free fall um, from high altitudes. That's basically what they're doing. They imitate zero, sorry, imitate zero gravity using free fall. That's all they'll ever be able to do. And they'll say that you're in space. Um, I've heard that the firmament is about 3,000 miles from the surface of Earth. So it's about that's as high as you can go. It's 3,000 miles. Because you can't leave the firmament. It says, Thou hast set a bound that they may not pass over. That it turn not again to cover the earth so you see um, then it says in Amos you know though you make your nest in the heavens I will bring you down though you try to dig to the depths of hell you shall be brought up paraphrasing that a little bit um, yeah it's some basic truths um People simply, they simply don't want to accept them because they want to continue to believe that there is no righteous judgment from God, that, there, that there's no reason to be afraid. Basically, the idea of there being no God, it makes people comfortable because they don't have to worry about the fact that they have not studied the Bible, that they have not accepted the Savior. If they truly don't believe in God, then it just, it just gets rid of all of that. They don't have to worry about anybody else's soul. They don't have to worry about their own. Their whole worldview, their whole view of life is shifted based upon their secular religion that they were told in school. Um, so this is a serious problem and it's leading to the destruction of our world where the wicked will continue to transgress. It says, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. So, there needs to be more people telling people about the one who will help a person change their heart. Because, ultimately, even if we try our best to be a good person, I still won't make up for our past sins. And ultimately, the best use of a person is to show other people the way to heaven. That's ultimately what life is all about. So, it's very important to understand this, to believe. Because it's a difference between eternity in heaven or in hell. God bless.